What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. Never, ever, ever fight for money. Hear me out. I know everybody's going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? The only reason anybody does this stuff is to get paid, right? To get rich. You see Mayweather, you see the mansions, the cars, the girls, all that. When you fight for money, you are what you call a mercenary. A mercenary is basically a hooker. They'll win, they'll lose, they'll do whatever you tell them for the right price. You don't want to be a mercenary. You want to be a professional warrior. A professional warrior's soul is not for sale. His integrity is not negotiable. There's nothing to debate. He's showing up to go to war because he's fighting for a cause. And he just happens to be a talented spectacle of, you know, just entertainment. You know, he's in professional boxing, it is an entertainment sport. And this advice goes for any entertainment. I don't care if you're doing music, basketball, whatever it is. But in particular, combat sports is not the place to be if you're just doing it for money. Perfect example. First time I saw Pacquiao in the ring on HBO back in the day, the look on his face was just pure just contentment and happiness. He looked like the sun shining on a thousand, you know what I'm saying, kilowatts. Like this dude was so happy. And I know, yeah, he was happy he was getting paid, but he was even more happy that he was getting to show the world who he is to display his skill. This was his coming home party. He's like, yo, now you motherfucker, you're going to remember who I am. After today, you're going to see this and you're going to ask my name. And again, that's the biggest compliment for a fighter is when people want to know what your real government name is. A, because they want to watch you again, and B, because they never want to be on the other side of the ring. But that's another thing. Yeah, Mayweather. Look at Mayweather. Money Mayweather. When he first came in the gym, there wasn't 50,000 people screaming his name. He was only thinking about one thing, to be TBE. I mean, maybe he didn't have it in that exact terminology back when he was a kid, but he wanted to be the best ever. That was the initial reason for getting in the gym. And then over time, as he got better and better and better, he became professional. He realized you need, you know, to add a little something to it. He became Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy Mayweather, by the way, was my most favorite version of Mayweather. And then he realized he was getting taken advantage of because once you're in the entertainment business, you become a hot commodity and the vultures come swarming in and start manipulating you and taking advantage. And then you get jaded by the game. And... You got to know, that's why it's important to have the right people around you also. If you're going to take it to that level, once you start reaching a point where you're doing this for a career, if you don't have the right team around you, it's only a matter of time before somebody takes advantage of you and robs you of your passion. And at the end of the day, I think Mayweather really just projects this image. I mean, yeah, when you come in from the bottom, it does feel good to be able to, you know, buy things you could never buy before and enjoy the, the, the luxury and the money, but that's not the ultimate objective. The ultimate objective should never be money. It should be attaching yourself to a greater purpose, whether you're fighting for a cause or you're fighting for a person or personal reasons. That's got to be your motivation. The second you step into that ring just for a dollar, like I said, think about what a mercenary really is. The mercenaries are all the guys that these champions stepped over. Those are the bodies they stepped over to get to the top. Those are the mercenaries. The warriors are the ones that are on the top. And as soon as you stop fighting for money, you go from warrior to mercenary, and it's all downhill from there. Keep that in mind. Hope you found this informative. If you did, like, subscribe, comment below. Go check out my IG, coach.v underscore. Till the next time, we out. Out.